croque monsieur. Aujourd'hui, c'est vlog et des 1125. Good morning. I think I'm gonna hit full old man mode today because I'm tired and sore. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, yikes. Okay, so got a decent night's sleep, which is good. And today we need to hook Jenica up with a few things, one of which is a SIM card, which SIM cards are hard to get. And I get these questions a lot about what to do about SIM cards. There's one option that I think I can uh, definitely recommend, which is kind of the more expensive option and not the best option, but I'm not really sure if I can recommend the other option because I'm not really sure if I should. So I'll recommend the better option and then you can observe what we do and make up your own mind about how you want to proceed, I suppose. The more expensive option that I know is definitely free and clear is if you go with one of the major carriers like Orange or um, I think SFR does the same thing, walk into one of their stores, they have like a tourist SIM card that'll last for a week at a time, I think. It was a little bit expensive, but it's gonna operate really well and get you going. The other option if you're an American, although this isn't really necessarily an option because you're probably pretty locked into whatever you have, but to my record, collection. I think T-Mobile still has their global plan, which costs a little bit more and then means your phone works in a lot of countries and that would include France. So that's another option. But if you're coming to France and you need a SIM card, Orange, Orange or SFR are two different options that generally, I think, I'll have to look up SFR to see if they still have theirs, but Orange is one that definitely does and you just walk into their store and they should be able to hook you up with the SIM card. There is a cheaper option, but it's an option that you're supposed to be here for longer to use. I don't know that there's anything like necessarily not, you know, above board about using that option. But since I'm not 100% sure, I'm just gonna, I don't know if I'm making too big of a deal out of this. The other option that I'm just not quite so sure about, because I think you ha technically have to live here, but I, I'm you don't, uh, is free. Free is what I use uh, for my cell service. And their kiosks, as long as you have an address, so like your Airbnb or whatever else, their kiosks will spit out a SIM card. And it's only like 20 bucks a month. And it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the best out of all the options, but it is, it's good. You get like 50 gigs of data and you can call pretty much anywhere in the world from your cell phone. So like I can call my parents right now on their cell phones from my cell phone. Uh, and it still only cost me that 20 bucks a month. It's pretty amazing. And it travels with you. And uh, honestly, I would just keep that for as long as possible and not have an American cell phone. Like when I've gone to America and used my cell phone, it didn't cost me any extra to use my cell phone in America. And uh, while there were more limitations while I was traveling, uh, it was still pretty amazing. So I've never actually done this. I've never gone to the kiosk. I know Laura has, American Laura. So I know that it works. And uh, she did that for her family while they were here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do the same thing for Jenica today, which means that she should have a cell phone that works great while she's in France for the next few weeks. And then I don't know what she does with it after that, but that's kind of what's going on. The reason I'm a little bit like, oh, I don't know for sure is because uh, you do have to have an address when you do it. And, uh, but they, that's it. You basically put in the address. It used to be that they mailed you the SIM card, but now they have kiosks that print them out so you can just get it right there so theoretically we should have no problems the other thing i'm going to do today assuming that i have the energy for it i really don't want to do anything uh at all but there's a chance we're going to see donald and look at his bike which should be really fun so that could be really good uh i'm not sure what's going to happen with that i might need to pump the brakes i'm not really sure like uh i mean metaphorically as well as uh you know physically but uh we'll see what goes on there and then I do need to buy some supplies for the weekend project in the office, which I'll be sharing with you as well. So with no further ado, let's go down and uh, at least get some coffee and then see where we go from there. On the upside, Jenica's mom's uh, luggage made it. So we have that now. I'm gonna put it in storage for the time being because since she's not here, <laughs> uh, might as well not lug it around too much. Leave it here for the moment and we'll figure out what we're gonna do with it from there. Okay, now for real, getting out of here. Mail call, that's a little bit of a, these, a couple of these were sent to me. I not only did Elaine's suitcase finally make it, but I got some stickers that I ordered. I think these are actually Patreon stickers. Oh no, they're not. Oh, I forgot I ordered these. Sometimes the sticker meal suckers me in with special deals that I find really hard to resist. And uh, I got a bunch of Square Notre Dame stickers. So there's that. This one's from my dad. 
I asked him to send this, it got here really quick. I made this map for a display. This, I think this is made for Worldcon to hang up and then I took it with me to all the conventions. I used to go to this canvas, right? And uh, I, I was thinking like it'd be really great to have this. There are a number of bigger art pieces that I wish I could have here, but are too expensive to send because they're like not, you know, compact. They're, they're large. This, however, you can crumple up and it fits into a tiny box and then you can ship it across the world for pretty cheap. So thanks, Dad, for sending that. Now this is from Shauna. Shauna tried to get this to us before uh, we did postcards. Very nice of you. So I know what this is because she tweeted me about it. It is a stamp with the return address on it for the uh, for the Peloton, I think. Hold on, let's see. Yep, there you go. Look at that. It, that was the first. That was the first stamp right there. It almost worked. I'm sure the second try is the charm. There we go. Boom. Thanks, Shauna. I don't know why my uh, little Peak Design bracelet is deciding to be a jerk right now, but it's not. Magnetizing properly. Each time I received a postcard or sticker, I noticed that you or your assistant hand wrote the return address. Holy cats. <laughs> it takes time. So in honor of your birthday last week, I had a self inking stamp made for which you should save lots of time. Hope it helps. Shauna. Thank you, Shauna. Any time you spend in a mixer is a gift in and of itself, so thank you for spending your time on your vacation with us. And uh, this is a big help. We don't put the return address on the postcards because there's post they're postcards, there's no room for it really. But on all of the stickers, we do send all of the Patreon stickers that look like this and or the Gustav stickers in envelopes and those do, this is gonna be awesome. Kate is going to be very, very happy to see this when she sees it. Thank you. We're definitely gonna work on trying to get some more time-saving things in place. And this is a really, really big help. So thank you so much. I'm going to put this over on, we have a sticker shelf. And that's where it goes. Thank you so much. We do have a lot going on, it turns out. This place is a mess, as you can tell. It's gonna be more of a mess over the next couple days, but hopefully start cleaning it up. I need to find the right size curtains. So the curtains that I was sent really will only fit over this door. They're just, everything is just too tall in, in my apartment and here. Um, but I, if we can install some curtain rods, I'd like to get some really heavy curtains to help deaden the sound both in here and also to you know keep us from, I've got a loud voice and I don't wanna annoy the neighbors too much. So if we can find some really nice big heavy curtains, it might also help to deaden a little bit of the sound from outside. But I mean, when there's peak traffic in the afternoon, you know, you're, you're just gonna have cars honking and all that nonsense is gonna happen. So there's nothing you can really do to prevent that. But between all of this foam, the second box came yesterday as well. We have lots of foam to put up. We can do, do that creatively as well. I think I've got more than I need for the spaces I wanna actually cover with it. So put those in like the bookshelves and in all sorts of random spots just to help deaden the sound in here. I hope that it makes a, like a notable difference. I don't expect it to like turn this into a sound booth, but I do hope that it improves the sound and helps us to have, you know, cleaner recordings so you don't hear the echo that you're hearing right now. Um, but also, yeah, maintain good relationships within the office would be a good thing. So that's where things are at right now. I'm gonna sit down and get a little bit of work done. I'm gonna go at like a putter speed today. I'm just kind of kind of ease into it. Try to relax a little bit today. We, there are a couple cool things coming up this weekend. I'm really looking forward to one thing in particular that I have never done in Paris that I've always wanted to do and you can only do in the summer and uh, I'm finally gonna get to do it. Oliver will be joining us for that. So that should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'm struggling today. Like this is just hitting, I just, I, I hit a wall of some sort. Anyways, I'll, I'll touch base with you here again in a second. Hello. How you doing? Good. Good to see ya. This is the bike, huh? Yeah. So I, uh, Donald delivered. It got here right as I was about to go take a break, and uh, this bike is awesome. The rear tire is completely flat though, so we got to get that pumped up so I can actually give it a try. But I definitely want to. Oh, this! Oh man! I took a very, very short spin, but uh, the rear tire is completely flat, and the front tire is pretty flat. So I'm going to go try and fill it up. There's a free, like, city-owned air pump over here somewhere. There it is. I was gonna say, I don't remember where exactly it was, but it's right by the mayor's office of the 4th of Ronnie's Mont. So uh, pump up the tires, give it a spin, and uh, sounds like he's gonna leave it with me for a few days. So I should be able to uh, give it a go, see how I like it, and uh, maybe make some decisions.
I somehow managed to make it even flatter. I'm gonna go, there's a, the bike about has a pump. I'm gonna try and use that. Okay, on the SIM card side of things, I verified that I had the right idea and the right spot in mind, but it's assumption day, which is a holiday here, and uh, it's closed. So we will try to do that tomorrow. And there is a short-term option, so I'm pretty sure it's okay if we do this, if I show you. It's kind of a secret, don't tell anybody. Uh, but I'll show you how to get a, a SIM card in France. It's actually very affordable and a really good deal. How about we do that tomorrow? In the meantime, I am so wiped. Finally got the bike put together. Found the pump down uh, at the bike about section. They uh, had it locked away and I had to go find, it was, it was quite the drama. And uh, finally got the tires pumped up. The bike is awesome. The only thing I really need to do now is get the seat hiked up and then I will be ready to go. It's just a little bit too low. It's a lot too low. It's not terribly too low, but it's too low. So maybe I'll ride my bike by the Van Moof dealership and see if they can hike it up for me a little bit and then yeah, we'll go from there. I think I'm gonna leave it here today. I'm gonna to put this whole thing together. I know I talked for a bit earlier today. I haven't edited this together, but I think that there's enough here. And uh, Jenica's doing pretty well. She's doing okay today. Uh, definitely super jet lagged, but we'll get her sorted here shortly. And uh, she is who is going to be taking me to Corsica because I've never been and it's like her dream place to live. I think I've shared that before, but there are Corsican dreams on the horizon. If you've ever wanted to go to Corsica, you're gonna get a preview here shortly. In the meantime, I'm going to go right back to bed basically and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for yet more glorious times here in Paris, France, and I guess some hot tips on how to get yourself a SIM card. I, I, I think I think it should be fine. I'll see you tomorrow.